Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little diamond shape that I've made here. Um, what I'm doing with this is I'm going to use it um, for a strawberry shortcake costume that I'm making. So um, I'm trying to make the traditional kind of strawberry shortcake. So around the apron, she has these little... Um, green diamond shapes with the little strawberries on them. So I'm going to be attaching my strawberries to my little diamond shape like that and then put it on the apron. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make this super super easy diamond shape here. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the Big Twist yarn. It's um, the forest green color is what I'm using and I like it. It's kind of shiny too. I kind of like it. And um, I got that from Joann's. Now um, to start out with Oh, and by the way, I'm also using a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And one thing that you want to do at the end, which I did not do here, is you need to leave these long, at least one of them long, so you can sew it onto whatever you're um, wanting to sew it on, if that's your goal. If your goal is just to have a tri triangle shape, then you don't, or a uh, diamond shape, you don't have to do that. But if your goal is to sew it onto something, it's really, really good idea to leave these strings long. Um, I didn't do that, but um, so I'll have to cut some and do it. Uh, later, but anyway, so I'm just making a slip knot onto my hook, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then I'm going to make one half double crochet in that um, second chain from hook. So I'm going to make it. So that's the first chain that I made. So one half double crochet in that chain, and then I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to turn. Now in this stitch right here so in that half double crochet I just made I'm going to do three half double crochets. If you like what you're seeing guys please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean the world to me and it would help me out a lot. Thanks everybody. Alright so for the next row I'm going to just chain one and turn and now I'm going to do four half double crochets. So I'm going to do one in the first stitch and I'm going to do two in the next stitch. And then I'm going to do one in that final stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and turn. And now the next stroke, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch. And then one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then two half double crochets in that final stitch. And again, I'm going to chain one and turn. And now I'm going to repeat that. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch. And now what you're going to do is you're going to do one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And excuse my dog noise in the um, background, everybody. They're walking around the house. And then that final stitch, I'm going to do two half double crochets. Again, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. And I'm going to repeat what I just did again. So two half double crochets in the first stitch. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. And then two half double crochets in that final stitch. Sorry guys, I don't know what in the world's going on with my focus in this video. Then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. Actually, I'm going to chain two. So I'm chaining two here. And then I'm turning because I want to start making this little point. So I'm going to just do one half double crochet across. So one in each of the stitches, so you should have 10 half double crochets. All 
All right, now I'm going to chain two, and I'm just going to slip stitch back into the that stitch, that final half double crochet there from the round before. I'm just going to slip stitch into that, and then, and then I'm going to turn my hook, and I'm going to slip stitch into the side of the stitch right here that I just made, so I get back on my on the level that I'm supposed to be on. And now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to start doing decreases. So I'm going to do half double crochet decreases and this is my first one right here I believe. Let me count them though just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's not the first one. This is the first one. So I want to work into this one and I'm doing half double crochet decreases and if you don't know how to do that um, I'll share the video with you below on how to do that. And now I'm going to half double crochet until I get to my last two stitches. I'm going to do one more decrease. And try to do this a little loosely so it doesn't kind of uh, turn in on itself or buckle at all. And so I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease in this last two stitches. And I'm going to chain one and turn. So that one I may have done a little bit tight, but that's okay. We can, uh, it'll flatten out. So I'm going to, again, half double crochet, um, decrease in the first two stitches here. And then I'm going to half double crochet down to the last two stitches. I'm going to do another half double crochet decrease on this round. Okay, so I have two stitches left here. So I'm going to do my half double crochet decrease. I'm going to chain one and turn. And so I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to do my half double crochet decrease. I'm trying to do it loosely. I tend to crochet a little tight. And then I'm going to do my half double crochet and then I've got two stitches left now so I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease again Oops. chain one turn so I should have four stitches now so I'm going to do half double crochet decrease over the first two stitches Then I'm going to do another half double crochet decrease over the last two stitches. Again, I'm going to chain one, turn, and then I'm going to do one half double decrease in the last two stitches here. And now I'm going to pretty much chain one, and I'm going to be working single crochets all the way around this now. So. I'm going to work a single crochet all the way around until I get to that point that I made here. So when I get to that um, chain stitch that I made right there, and when I get to that chain stitch, I'm going to make one double crochet, one chain stitch, and one double crochet all in that same stitch. I'm going to do that all the way around. So try to work evenly your single crochets across, and you might not get it perfect, and that's okay. Um, you just don't want it to have two less or it will kind of like turn in. So just do it as best as you can. I like to try to do one per row, but sometimes it needs a little bit more than that not to kind of turn and buckle in on you. So it's okay, just eye it and you can see how many that you need. So again, I'm just single crocheting all the way around and now I've got to that space. So what I'm gonna do here in that space is I'm going to double crochet in that chain one space then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to make another double crochet and I'm going to do that at each point so it stands out and now I'm going to continue to single crochet around I'm so excited to get this project done too guys 
I can't wait for the apron tutorial to come out for you guys so you can see it because it's going to be super super cool and again I'm just doing one single crochet all the way around and sometimes it leaves holes when you work in the side of the stitches so I kind of like to separate them a little bit because I don't like to see holes in my work at least you know not not when they're not supposed to be there anyway so I am to that space now so the top space or the one that I started with so I'm going to go into that top area I'm going to do a double crochet I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do another double crochet and then I'm going to continue back down the other side and I'm just going to continue to do single crochets till I get to that next area Alright, so I'm at that spot now, so I'm just going to work into that chain that I made earlier. So I'm doing a double crochet, I'm doing a chain stitch, and then another double crochet, and I'm going to continue doing my single crochets around until I get to where I start, and then I'm going to do the double crochet, uh, chain stitch double crochet there too. Alright, so I'm back at that point, so again, I'm going to do a double crochet here, then chain one, and another double crochet, and then I'm just going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that I made. And then I'm going to tie this off and I'm going to remember to leave the end long. And this might benefit from some blocking. I probably should make a video to show you how, how you guys how I block stuff like this. But um, this looks super cute and I'm really, really happy with it, guys. So um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And happy hooking, everybody.